It's hard for me to look at you. He had your eyes. A fundamental thing for this film was was involvement of the actors of the cast. And I consider people like Clive, Michael Caine, and Julian Moore pretty much my co-writers in all of this. And they were so clever and so generous in how they dealt with the characters. It has very, very powerful archetypes in terms of the characters. They're not characters that you're unfamiliar with. I mean, they are people that you've seen in literature forever. The character played by Clive Owen of Theo is a character we're familiar with. And I think that is ultimately what will take a film that is very bold and very provocative and still make it very emotional and very accessible to people. Well, it was very clear to me when I first read the script that he was trying to create a different kind of hero. You know, this isn't your sort of big Hollywood obvious hero. He's a flawed human character that sort of drags into this extraordinary situation. I use, I, I had Mark Light. You know, because he knew that his character was a character that was pretty much a drunk, is completely passive, is against the Hollywood rules that would tell me uh, he's not proactive. From the standpoint of, a, of an action hero, he's the most clumsy action hero you've ever seen. He's just trying to survive. Alfonso's the only director I know who would put their hero in flip-flops for a whole sequence in the movie, because I think anything to take away from that filmic, heroic thing, he wants it to be an ordinary guy in an extraordinary situation and for you to really believe it and feel it. He, he, want, he keeps trying to pull the rug from under Theo. A large part of the movie is a big sort of action chase movie and Theo is the most unlikely guy taking you through it. In the script we define him as a veteran of hopelessness. He's like a zombie in a way. He is someone that the reality is so overwhelming and he's some personal reality has gone through so much pain and the reality everywhere around is so overwhelming that he just gives up. Hello, Theo. It's me, Theo, it's Julian. At a particular point in the story, Julian comes back into his life and all of that stuff is sort of reawakened and she's really the catalyst for pulling Theo into this extraordinary journey, really. She trusts him, she knows him, and uh, she's looking to him for help, and he's uh, sort of reluctantly reawakened, really, by her. My character, Julian, is um, the leader of a group called the Fishes, whose goal it is to provide sort of a safe haven for refugees everywhere. Julian and Theo were married, I suppose, years and years ago, or involved anyway, and had a small child they lost in an accident. So they haven't seen one another in probably 20 years. We were involved when they were very young, um, and both went in very, very different directions. They used to be very politically active when they were younger, and they sort of dr drifted apart, and they haven't seen each other for a very long time, and she's still very active, and he's gone on a very different route, and sort of wallowing in alcohol and a boring job, and thinking that nothing, you know, is worth anything. Theo's motivations are more emotional than, than Julian's motivations. She has her own agenda. It's a r really well-intended agenda, but it's, it, she doesn't have much time for emotion at that point. And Theo, at the beginning of this film, has pretty much given up. He's very dry, he's very cynical, and he sort of doesn't care. He's sort of lost touch with everything. He's sort of just going about his life and in a bit of a sort of daydream, really cynical, depressed, what's the point? No one's had a kid in 18 years. It's like, there's no future. There's no, what's the point of caring? And gradually through the movie, he's woken up. You know, he meets a series of characters and goes on an incredible journey. And by the end of the movie, he's got faith again in people and in life. And, you know, there is possibility. Absolutely nothing has been difficult in this movie, actually. All the people are really pleasant. Um, the actors are are tremendously talented. Alfonso is great. And it's been it's been a real pleasure, actually, all of it. Now, now we need to... We're going to go fast. We're going to go yeah. so fast. The actors totally understood what the whole thing was about, what the concept was about. But they all also understood that, that without the human connection, this would be just like almost like a documentary. I felt so protected with these actors. And I feel so grateful with them because of how much they protect me, they protected the film, and how committed they were with the film. They are so absolutely beautiful.